Kobayashi. I think that's how it's read. We're doing 30 minute open bar drink for only about 400 yen. So, $4. Yeah. So it gives you some tips, and on the back, we have our little rules and how to actually make the thing. So one of the rules is that it's automatic extension every 30 minutes, so if you want to stop it, you have to say it. I think you have to order at least one. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So if you're doing the Nomi Holda, you have to order at least one food item. I started with ginger ale, and I filled it about, I'm gonna say, three-fourths of the way. Maybe a little more than that. A little more. More. It's gonna be hardly any alcohol. Okay. And then I use the peach uh, right here. This one? Yep. Just kind of push up oh, on sorry. it. It says peach. Sweet. All right. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. No worries. We're at Tsukiji Fish Mart dining, and we're already past happy hour by this point, 6.30. So I almost thought about getting a nakajoki, but I'm gonna get the Tokyo flavor kopi. So they're kind enough to give us a English menu. Super helpful with all the drinks and is food as well. And you can find the pictures in the actual menu. But I feel like this is much more helpful than what I have experienced in Tokyo for the last like four years. Um, it depends on from chain to chain. Because like I've been to plenty of places where they've had handwritten menus and you just gotta try oh, and like, God. figure it out. It's yeah, handwritten menus. Oh, like if you want to have an idea of what a handwritten menu looks like, this is like the neat version. Yeah, this is like the best case scenario. Look at how nice and easy that is to read. I've had ones that are completely chicken scratch, the entire menu. Yeah. But then you, if it's like that, then you also know it's a really good izakaya. Yeah, or it's like everything's handmade, it's beautiful. Yeah. So here's Hopi, beer and shochu. also gave us um, the sea charge kind of dish is kabocha, um, Japanese pumpkin. So my friend Ami here ordered the gari shoga sour, the ginger sour. We thought, huh, that's weird. It doesn't say ginger in katakana. Or it and doesn't say ginger ale. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, it has actual pieces of ginger in it. <laughs> Maybe that's what the gari part is. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm actively scared of this. Please try it. <laughs> Real pickle. Rip. Oh shit, that's good. Oh my god. Like, you gotta try this. <laughs> it's strong. Oh my god. It tastes exactly like the ginger that you eat with sushi. Yeah, yeah. But it's a drink, and it's good. Oh my god. Hell yeah, bruh. Well, if you have a chance to drink this and you like sweet stuff, it's so good. It's like sweet and spicy. We got ourselves some maguro sashimi to eat with our ginger. It just seems right. Yes. <laughs> You'll say maguro shoyu and wasabi. Now ginger. Gari shoga. Shoga. Sour. Oh, that's good. Highly recommend if you get the chance to order this, get it with some sashimi order, like salmon or um, tuna, maguro. It's really fucking good. On our way home. <laughs> I think it's one day after the supermoon though. Ah, uh, yeah. It's got a little bit out of it. Right in Nagano City. Very comfortable. Oh yeah, the, the screen. Yeah, we walk over the crosswalk. <laughs> It'll like put like a filter on your face if you walk through the, the TV screen. When you're done taking selfies with me, go take a selfie with Yakol. By the way, Yakol is a like yogurt drink for like digestion. <laughs> Dr. Shirota made a delicious probiotic drink over 80 years ago. He's also my homie. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> they obviously know their market. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this even appeals to English speakers.